Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at a boolean trick that's hopefully going to save you a lot of time. So I've been wanting to show this for a while, but I wanted to find a project where this was going to be worth showing, and this act seemed like to be a really good one. So what I've got is a lot of different objects here, and I need to boolean them all together before I bring them into Lightsheet to 3D print them. So firstly, you can try to bring objects from Blender into 3D printing programs without boolean them together, but you're not going to find the issues that may be causing problems, so I'd really recommend that you do it in Blender. The other thing that this allows you to do is manipulate some of the issues that you may have to stop them being problems, and this would be a good example. So what I want to do is quickly talk about how Booleans work, because it's going to be important for understanding this issue and how to solve it. So let's just do this bit at a time. So let's say I want to Boolean this object to the main haft of this weapon. Now what that's going to do, or with any boolean what it's going to do, is try to work out all of the points where they merge, or where they have edges and faces that intersect. So for example we've got a series of faces here that are going to intersect along this line, and then it's going to do the maths to work out how to combine these together. So if I just click this object, and then the main half, Control shift and plus so we don't have to use modifiers, it will do it automatically, and we don't have to apply anything, you can see we start getting some issues. For example, these parts here have just disappeared. So let's undo that, work out why that's going on, and how to solve it. So the first thing, if I just isolate these two, is that we can see I've got some issues with this object. And that's quite easy to see because I've got my inside faces set to show up as yellow. As I was creating it, I had a problem, and I should have come in and fixed this. And, well, the reason I didn't was because it was going to take some time and I couldn't be bothered because I knew there was a way of fixing it as part of the booleaning process. So this is going to save you some time in trying to fix your objects in the first place because sometimes you're going to realise you don't need to. Now, what problem this is causing is, if we have a look at these, is that as we try to boolean these together and Blender tries to work out what's going on on this edge, it can't really do the maths. It gets confused and that's why we get these boolean problems. So what I'm going to do instead is before booleaning the grip to the main half, is I'm actually going to boolean it to these caps that are either end. Now I wanted these there anyway, but this meant that I knew that this wasn't going to be a problem because if we have a look at our grip, you can see it's partially inside each of these caps. There's just a little bit of overlap, which importantly for this top end is going to mean that as it's doing all the maths of trying to combine these together, Blender is only trying to calculate what's going on on this edge. And that edge is not where all the problems are. The problems are deep inside this object. So if I come to those two, Control, Shift and Plus, we can see that that's Boolean together no problem. And it's removed all that internal geometry, which means now there's nothing more left to cause it a problem. I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. And then we can select our half, which was the thing we had an issue with, Control, Shift and Plus and it's going to boolean together destructively, which is what I want, because I'm going to be putting this to 3D print, with no issues created. Now I appreciate that this isn't a perfect solution, as sometimes you're not going to have this option, but it does show how easily sometimes you can boolean out the offending areas before creating your final booleans to solve this sort of an issue, and it may well be quicker than doing the cleanup needed on the objects themselves. So a nice simple trick there that's hopefully going to save you a bit of time in your Boolean workflow. If you found that useful, please do hit the like button so it's easier for other people to see. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel, and have a great day.